In today's video, we're gonna talk about JSON, but specifically, I'm gonna teach you how you can use JSON inside your Python programs. So when you want to use JSON inside your Python programs, you need to first decode it, which means convert it to a valid Python type so that Python can actually use it. And when you want to save that back, you need to encode it, in other words, convert it back to JSON. So for example, a Python dictionary is converted to a JavaScript object. A list or a tuple is converted to a JavaScript array, and so on and so forth. Stick until the end because, as usual, we are going to learn a lot of cool things. So first of all, if you want to use JSON, you need to import the module JSON. Okay, so let's write a string of JSON. So let's start with a curly brace, name, John. So name the age forty three. Okay, let's close it here. Okay, so this is JSON, but if we wanted to, for example, print you know person name, this wouldn't work because we haven't decoded the JSON string to a valid dictionary. So it's like I'm trying to get the name the name key from a string, which is impossible, okay? So, so first of all, we need to actually decode the JSON, okay, to a valid Python type. So to do that, we need to do something like person JSON dot loads JSON, okay? By doing so, we're actually decoding that, and this would be a dictionary, this would be an integer, this would be a string, and so on and so forth. So now I'm gonna show you what I mean. Print type person. I'm going to actually print the type here as well. Person JSON. I'm gonna comment that out, otherwise it would throw an error. Okay, person type, and then print. I'm gonna print person name and see if that works. Okay, so let's save that and let's run it. Python is a module. So this is the string, class dict, dictionary, and John. I could access that. Here I could actually do something like type to see the actual type. Okay, let's rerun it. As you can see, string. Okay, so this is a string, then we decode it, and from the JSON string, it becomes a dictionary, and then we can access the name, okay, as if it were a dictionary, a Python dictionary, which is kind of cool. Okay, so let's... Of course, as this is a Python dictionary, you can change the values, okay? So for example, you can do something like person name equal David, okay? So now to encode it back to JSON, we need to use dumps. The first parameter is what we want to convert into JSON, and then there are other parameters that we're gonna look at later on, okay? So, if you want to convert it to a JSON, a valid JSON format, you do something like JSON dot dumps, and then person, okay? The type of the new person, new person JSON, and then we print the new person JSON, we'll see that we've got a valid JSON string, okay? So let's save that. String dictionary, John, class string, which is this one, okay? So now after the dumps, you've got a JSON string, and as you can see, the name is different, it's David right now, okay? So perfect, that works. Of course, now, if you were to access the new person name, that wouldn't work because we, this is JSON right now. Okay, perfect. So now that we know the basics of how to encode and decode, we can go ahead and try to save this JSON string to a real JSON file. So we can actually save the data to our computer, to our device. Okay, so let's actually comment this out. And I want to copy this. Okay, let's go down here, perfect. So person JSON, still. So, of course I'm not going over the opening and closing of file, stuff like that, because I've already made a video on that, okay? So, 
with open person json so which is a file that should be here if it's not there okay python will create it for you write mode as json file json file dot write person json and print saved successfully successfully okay so let's try that and see what we get so save successfully as you can see a new file person.json has been created and inside we've got our json as you can see you've got your json really really cool and as you can see it's all in, on one line okay and it's kind of hard to read especially if you have a lot of data but i'll explain you later on how you can format it better to make it readable and more like a, like a json file but let's first talk about what we can do to read the data back okay so let's clear this and go back to our json module okay so as we we've already created the file we don't need to create it anymore so we can comment this out okay so with open person dot json read as json file again so person equal json file dot read we're gonna get the whole content which is json i'm gonna print the person just to see what we've got and then let's call it person converted json dot loads person okay after converting json string we can access the data so name equal person converted name surname equal person converted surname let's go up here like that and then age equal person converted age then you can do something like that print a string i am name surname and i am is old okay something like that okay let's try that out so we are reading back the data from the json file that we that we've created and now we are accessing the data like that so name john surname do it this is read right from the file from this file and then i'm john do and i'm 33 years old okay that works really really cool so now if we want to change something and save that back we can just overwrite the whole thing like this of course we need to keep reading so we're gonna keep this because we need the person converted this thing right here this one basically okay so i'm gonna print separator just that it's less confusing so with open person json right as json file person converted and we do something like name david new person json person converted I'm just using names like I'm making this up, okay? But use the names that make more sense to you, okay? So as I've converted back to JSON, okay, I'm going to, of course, write to the file. Okay, so new person JSON. You can do something like save successfully, okay. Something like that. 
perfect. Of course, just a side note, here you, I've just done this on two lines. You can do this on one line only. So you can do something like JSON file write, and then here, instead of making the new variable and then using here, you can do something like JSON dumps person converted in here. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Let's actually, as you can see, saved successfully and then name David in here. So that worked, that worked really well. Perfect. So you've changed the, the data. So let's now talk about the last thing that I already mentioned earlier, which is formatting the JSON string to save it formatted better. Okay, so you can use indent in a dumps method and indent basically defines the number of spaces for the indentation. Let's actually see an example so you see what I mean, okay? You can do something like, for example, here. You can use indent, let's choose spaces and see what we've got, okay? Let's run it. As you can see, that's so much better right now. Here you've got two spaces, and two spaces, and two spaces. And that's more like more readable and so much more JSON. Okay. Perfect. And the cool thing that you can do in here is sort keys. If you set it to, to true, these keys are saved in alphabetical order. Okay. So let's try that out. As you can see, age, name, surname, alphabetical order. So that worked. So this is basically what you can do with JSON in Python. Really, really cool. Of course, your structure could be so much more complex. You could have dictionaries nested in other dictionaries or lists and stuff like that. So for example, here, person converted hobbies equal to a list in this case. Programming, you can do like technology, something like that. Then we can leave that like that. Let's try to run it. As you can see here, you've got a different structure. So you've got the hobbies and then you've got a list and then all indented by two, by two spaces because we actually said here, indent two spaces, okay? So this is basically what you can do with JSON in Python. Really, really cool. Of course, you can use JSON, like you can fetch data from server and then you can decode it and then you can use that. And then you can even save that back to JSON and you send that back to the server, for example. This is just an introduction, but I think this is enough to start using it, okay? So I'm gonna close everything down as usual and that's it.